You're going to learn how to install Fabric 1.21.4 as well as how to add mods to Minecraft 1.21.4 using Fabric. Let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Now, the first step is to download Fabric, and for that, click on the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Fabric. You don't have to read through the whole thing, just scroll down to step one and click Download Fabric here. Once over here, click where it says Download Universal Jar, and your download for the installer of Fabric will begin right away. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this file into our desk. Now we're going to download the Fabric API, which is going to allow us to use most mods with fabrics. Most mods with fabric will require you to have the Fabric API. Click on the third link in the description, scroll down to step one, click Download Fabric API here, and once over here, select the version of Fabric API that you need. In this case, it's 1.21.4, so look for it, click on these three dots, and hit Download File. Now wait five seconds or your download will begin. And while we wait for the API to download, if you're looking to create a Fabric server, then just use Apex Hosting. There's no need to host a server on your computer anymore, keep your computer on all the time, port forward, none of that. Apex Hosting will create a Fabric server or any other mod loader that you want, Forge or any other, with just a click of a button. They actually support over 200 mod packs that you could install in less than five minutes. And the great thing about Apex Hosting is that they have locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging. Your friends have no excuse for whenever you beat them, they can't say it was because of lagging. Also, something I personally love about Apex Hosting, besides all the advantages they have, is that you could create the server through your phone and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change the settings, kick people out, stop the server, whatever you want to do, you could do so through your phone. I'm going to leave that first link in the description so you could get 25% off with Apex Hosting. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. And after just five seconds, we got the Fabric API downloaded. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. Now we have the Fabric installer as well as the Fabric API. At this point, you are kind of ready to install Fabric. However, I also want to download just a mod so I could test out if Fabric installs properly. And to download a mod, if you want to download the same one as me and test out Fabric, you could just download Journey Map, click on the fourth link in the description, I believe now, and scroll down to step one. Again, this is our guide on how to install Journey Map. Once over here, just scroll down to step one, click Journey Map, and then select 1.21.4 for Fabric. This is also how you're going to download most mods for Fabric. If you're wondering, you're going to have to choose the game version, and then you're going to have to choose the mod loader when you're in the download website. It could be CurseForge, it could be ModRint, or any other website, right? So select 1.21.4, click on these three dots, and click Download File. Journey Map is a mini map for Minecraft. If you're wondering, it was the mod that you saw in the intro of this video that I was using. Let's go ahead and wait five seconds. And there we go. We have that journey map file and we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that into our desktop. Now we are really ready to start. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have closed your game as well as your Minecraft launcher only after you have played Minecraft 1.21.4 at least once on your computer to create an installation folder. Once you've done that, just double click on the Fabric installer and the Fabric installer will open. And if it doesn't, don't worry, just hold on in there. I'm going to teach you how to fix that in a second. But if it did open, just make sure 1.21.4 is selected and then hit install. And if it didn't open, that is because you need Java 21. After Minecraft got updated to Minecraft 1.21.4, 20.5 and you now need Java 21 for any mod that you try to install, including the Fabric Mod Loader. I'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to install Java 21. It's pretty simple. You just download it and then hit next a couple of times on the installer and you have Java 21. Again, this is a requirement. And if you weren't able to open the installer, that's most likely why. Once you install Fabric, as you can see, it's going to say successful install. Click OK, close the installer. And now you could even delete the Fabric installer from your desktop. You don't need it anymore. Now it's time to add the mods as well as the Fabric API. To do so, open your Minecraft launcher. And if we install Fabric properly, we should see selected here automatically. As you can see in here, that is my case as well. Now, what we're going to do is add the mods, but not before we make sure we have Fabric in here. If you don't see it in there, just head over to installations and make sure you have modded selected. Without modded, you won't be able to see Fabric. If you still don't see Fabric, once you select modded, just click on new installation and then on version, search for Fabric, and then select 1.21.4, which is the newest one, and then name this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex Hosting, since that will give you 25% off using the first link in the description and then just hit install here on the bottom right as you can see down here hit install and that'll create an instance of fabric for you over here anyways now it's time to add the mods again let's say you open the launcher you see fabric in here how do you add the mods head over to installations Hover over Fabric Loader, which at this point you already know how to see in here. Hover over it, and then you'll see this folder icon. Click on it, and then you'll go ahead and see this folder with a lot of files in here. I'm going to actually make the icons a little bit bigger. And now you're looking for a specific folder called Mods. That's M-O-D-S. And as you can see, my Mods folder is right here. But many of you won't have that folder. I'm actually going to delete mine. If you don't have the folder, just click on New, click Folder, and then create the Mods folder yourself. Just name it M-O-D-S, Mods. 
And that's it. You just need to create it yourself if you don't have it. It's that simple. Now go ahead and open it and you probably have an empty folder. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop the Fabric APA file as well as any other mod that we want to use with our Fabric Loader. Just make sure that those mods are first of all Fabric and second of all, they're 1.21.4 because if they're not, chances are your game is going to crash. Go ahead and add all these files into here. Now you could close out from this folder, head back into your Minecraft launcher and now launch your Fabric instance of the game. In here, you're going to get this little prompt. If you don't know what this is, just click in here and you will know what it is but i'm gonna hit that and understand the risk and then i'm gonna hit play and let's just go ahead and wait for fabric to open now once your game opens we know that we're in fabric because it literally says fabric down here as you can see over here but we're still gonna go ahead and test out that mod that we added which in this case it's the journey map mod which means that we're gonna have a mini map in our game right now and there we go as soon as we load into our world we can see that we have the journey map right on the top right off the screen and if we press j on our keyboard we actually are able to control how journey map looks we can change the shape of it over here we can make it into a square we could make it bigger smaller move it around whatever you want to do you could do so because this is journey map one of the greatest minimaps for minecraft and now we have fabric working i hope this video helped you if it did don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye